Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And imagine being 23 years old, 23 years old, and putting out a pretty polished animation featuring Scooby-Doo and FNAF characters, that's Five Nights at Freddy's, and thinking that the internet would be like, yeah, hey fam, this is awesome, only to have people associated with Scooby-Doo threaten to blacklist you from the animation industry. Right. That's what happened. Yes, we're, it is. We're going to talk about this uh, interesting uh, interesting situation over the weekend that uh, a young animator put together a, a really amazing piece of fan animation, but he used AI for the voices and now people whose jobs he basically stepped on are angry, including the voice actress of Daphne Blake. She's threatening to blacklist him from mm -hmm. the industry, which is... I don't think a very good look. So we're gonna we're gonna talk about this. We're gonna talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. If you do, you'll get a woohoo. Woohoo! Yeah. So this this situation it is a tricky situation. I mean, I'm gonna be honest here. I can see both sides of this one. I really truly can. So explain the situation first. So the situation, as I understand, this article is on clownfishtv.com, courtesy of Mike, of, of Mike Phelan, our, our bastard child, I guess. Apparently, our, according, our, to, according to Az. The, uh, <laughs> so. the, well, I guess he went, oh, we weren't married when we had him and we just hid him in the closet. Uh, yeah, so anyway, this, this guy put out a fan film, a FNAF fan film, which there are many, 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 many FNAF fan films, but the Production qualities were amazingly good, especially considering he was a, a one-man show. Okay, first of all, Neon is a huge, huge Rankin Bass fan. Like, I cannot stress to you, if you could have the puppets, he would totally do it. <clears throat> Loves Rankin Bass. We have, like, all their movies and everything else, all the holiday specials. He has them. It, it, is, it is my goal one day to own some of those Animagic puppets. There are very few of them in existence, but they would have a very, very good home with me. I'm just saying. I'm just putting that out there, but I don't think I could afford them. Maybe a replica. Uh, maybe, maybe. I know there are, there are a couple floating around out there. Anyway, yeah, huge Rankin Bass fan. Love Rankin Bass. Everything Rankin Bass. And he got the look right. Like he got the Paul Coker faces right. It's very, very hard to get that right because so many people have tried, even official sequels. And they can't do it right. Like mm -hmm. they had the, the Miser Brothers Christmas, which I think it was Cup of Coffee Productions. I kind of savaged that one. I felt bad because I know the people worked on it. You know, they, they didn't really, you know, I, I think they did the best they could do and they probably couldn't use the original designs for the most part. But it didn't look like a Rankin Bass production. It, it looked very kind of generic and the art was all over the place and the songs weren't right, whatever. This guy got it right. And it, he's just a one man show and he got it really right and you can tell the frame rates you know whatever it's it's a kid he's like 23 years old and he put this together himself absolutely amazing he got the music right for scooby-doo he got the pacing right he got the humor like it felt like it, it could have been an episode of scooby-doo produced in the 1960s there's one little problem the voices mm -hmm. he resorted to using ai for the voices and now the voice actors, or at least one of them, uh, Greg Delisle, who plays Daphne Blake, they're very, very pissed off. And this is complicated because one, it was just a fan film, but two, it also shows how easily voice actors could be replaced. Right, which is the problem. Yeah. That is the problem. So it's called uh, Scooby-Doo, Where Are You in Spring Trapped? And I'm not gonna show the video on here, we'll, we'll get to the backlash. But if you go out to YouTube, you can find it. It's only got, surprisingly, with all this drama, it's only got a half a million views only. A half a million views on YouTube. It's it's FNAF, it's animation, it's Scooby-Doo. I, I thought you know, it would have had a lot more than that. But yeah, it did not go as well as, uh, as intended, apparently. So this guy, Jay Lender, who uh, is... WGA, I'm assuming, on strike. This well, he has it on his thing, so yeah. Right on there, right? Uh, this film uses AI-simulated voices of currently active talent. So it would be Gray Delisle's voice, I believe. Uh, the inevitable result of this cheap tech will be overexposure, killing their ability to make a living with their formerly unique instrument. Law must, ca law must catch up now. Now, I, now see, now here's... I, 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 I'm torn on this one. Like, I can understand why he did it. It was just a fan film. It wasn't a big deal. 
flip side, and, and you know, flip side is I can kind of, I completely understand where the, completely see where the voice actors are coming from, also because it is something that is a problem. There's something they're worried about, something that could, they could be easily replaced for, and um, you can just input their voices and then make a copy. And that's a very scary thing. And I can really see where they're coming from on that. I don't think it was a malicious intent. Um, I think intent matters. I don't think it was the case here. I also will say that AI has already been scouring the internet. So your voice probably already is in the AI system now. Anyways, I'm sure mine is in the AI system now. Anyways, it is. I know it is, but we're not, it's another story. <laughs> it's a whole I'm other sure, story. I'm but... sure it is. Yeah. So, I mean, whether this person did it or somebody else, it's going to be there. And someone could just, anybody could probably type in and say, hey, they could sound like you. And it's going to sound like you. Uh, yeah. And, and it's not great. It's obviously not as good as a voice actor, but it does give us a glimpse of the future. And the future is going to look a lot like studios bringing somebody in as a source for a voice for a character that they can use indefinitely. Now, if a person agrees to that and they're paid fairly for that that's fantastic but you know they're going to bring in some young kid well they can just sound like now there are people out there that sound just like these actors and that they'll do it for like a lot less money well okay so that was a controversy too talking about the unions and talking about the strikes and all that uh when rooster teeth did the transformers show for netflix they use sound alikes mm -hmm. non-union sound alikes most people you know casuals wouldn't have known the difference but yeah it wasn't peter uh, it wasn't Frank Welker doing the voices like they usually do because they were in the union and um, Peter Cullen was not happy. Well, I can, I can, but I can see why. Like, I, again, I see both sides of it and I can see why because it's because, you know, people are expecting it to be him and it's not. It's someone that sounds like him, but it's not actually him. And you, you could have just hired him. So I get it. Um, but no way in hell this kid was going to be able to afford to hire these actors. No. But he could have probably gone the route of, even if you used AI, could you make it sound similar to, but not exactly like, and then, you know, maybe could have gone something like that way. Yeah. So but talk to the best product he could. He, and he did a damn good job. I mean, I would, I would, if I had the resources, right. And I had the rights, I'd say, dude, uh, I will put you to work doing like, we'll do a Christmas special, but don't use the AI, but damn you're good. Mm -hmm. Like he's really freaking good. He's too good. If he wasn't good, they wouldn't be freaking out right. like this. But uh, anybody, any, anybody could go home right now and put in AI yeah. and get a voice sound just like these actors right now. Like anybody can do it. And I don't think yeah. it's right. I'm just saying that, you know, black, I need to blacklist this person for something that it's a teachable moment. You could have been like, okay, look, you might be new. It's probably not a good idea. And here's why. And maybe you could just redo it. Maybe put different actors in or, you know, we could do the lines for you or something like that. And then it would be, you know, more fair. And then we wouldn't have to worry about this kind of, you know, they could have done that. But instead, <laughs> they're going the opposite direction. I, yeah. So that's the thing. Like, normally, I, I, I like Grey Delisle. Um, I think she's pretty solid usually. But in this case, this is massive massive overkill but understandable why she's given mad. it's very given, understandable given what's going on right now that this is literally their the their worst fears being realized mm -hmm. like oh my god we're replaceable that replaceable right. and this happened with the the scooby-doo movie all the people that worked on the series got replaced by warner brothers by bigger name face actors and they weren't told like matt lillard found out via the trades mm -hmm. that he was no longer right. shaggy Right. So there's that too. But you know, somebody could even go through all the Scooby-Doo episodes of movies and just freeze out words and do the same thing by splicing words together without even using AI. Yeah. And that's what they're doing with uh, faking filmation. They're actually taking, you know, and I know James Etock, but for those of you who don't know, uh, James Etock, who is a He-Man super fan is making basically a quote unquote new uh, episode of filmation. He -Man. It's really cool. actually. It's amazing. And they have a documentary that's coming out about it and how he did it. And I think they got permission to finish it. Um, you missed him at the, the show. I you did. You didn't get to there. run he into him. He was a power him. con. He, he, was, he was out and about. But, but um, it, it really is an amazing piece of work. And what's more amazing is, well, one, you can't tell really tell the difference between an official filmation product and this. But all the dialogue came from cobbling together you know, bits of dialogue. Well, the difference from is episodes. it was from a time they don't, the people, the filmation isn't around. No. And some of the voice, voice actors, actors are no longer, are no longer at work no. or they are no longer with us. So that's a little bit different than people who are currently working. Like if you had gone with the old voice actors, maybe for the characters from a long time ago and some of them aren't working anymore, 
you know, it probably would have been a different story. But um, I can honestly, sincerely see both sides of this one. But I don't think he was being malicious or he meant any I, I don't think he did. And that that's the thing. Like, I mean, this is a guy who's 23 years old. And you've got the voice actress of Daphne Blake out there and being like, I'm going to blacklist him, which, holy hell. Like, seriously. I, you thought, just, I mean, it could have been. He could have pulled him aside and just been like, hey, I that's some funny stuff. That's some good stuff, kid. But, you know, could you at least ask my permission before you do that? Right. Or be like, OK, can I we just do it? And I'll just I'll just voice it for you. And I'll give you a reasonable rate because obviously you can't afford you're 23. You can't. Well, that's afford what he said. Penny. He couldn't afford it. Um, you know, maybe just do it as, even as a publicity for, you know, it would have been a good publicity for herself. You know, and for other actors, you could have done something like that, um, you know, and, and been like, because I don't think it was, in, I don't think there was ill intent and that intent matters. And in this situation, I really don't think that was what, I, I think it was more meant to be an homage to things he loved. I don't think it was meant to be an insult or to be, you know, take their jobs away or whatever it's become. Yeah. So he actually had disclaimer. He said, I, I'm not a fan of AI. The only reason I used uh, AI voices for Fred, Daphne, Velma and Scooby is because I can't afford to pay a ton of voice actors at the moment. It's also difficult to find impersonators for the gang other than Shaggy and Scooby. That's actually true. They're they're very hard voices to mm -hmm. imitate. And most, people, and most people don't care otherwise because Shaggy and Scooby's are very distinctive. And um, um, yeah, and you said everything else was done by hand. Yeah, he said it wasn't to make money. It was a portfolio piece. Yeah, uh, it was. It was, he, it was a joke they had done, and he animated it. He was never intending to monetize it anything like that. And they're like mad because, well, you know, now their voices are in the AI system. They're in the AI system already, I can assure you. Yeah, this is not making her look very good. And I, I actually do like Grey Delisle. I think she's, she's amazingly talented. And again, I want to disclaim this. I understand why they're upset because this is what the studios are threatening to do to them. I think given the strikes and all stuff now, it's, this, it's, it's timing. really bad it's timing. timing. Yeah, It's really bad timing. If this had happened before, it might be like, huh, Okay, well, let's hope that Warner Brothers doesn't go getting any funny ideas. But the thing or is, that they don't sue him. But yeah, yeah. Well, I'd be I a year ago I would have been more worried about Warner Brothers mm -hmm. coming after him than. But at this point, Warner Brothers is going to look at this, scratch your chin, be like, you know, you know. Well, I think Warner Brothers are already going to probably do it. Which we is can why just they're striking. We can anyway. do this, but to to call this guy out and say that you're going, you personally are going to see to it that he is blacklisted. Damn. That is hard. 23 years old. It's he's just a portfolio he's piece. He's a portfolio piece because he wants to be an animator. And then you went and did this. I mean, I think you're going, you're going way too uh, over the board. I understand. I get where you're coming from, but you know, this could have been a teachable moment. It could have been a, a, a very, a good moment that you guys could have used for your cause and been like, we're going to go do the voices for the characters for this person. So they're official voices and then be like, you know, and we're going to use it as an example why AI could be dangerous and you could have done it and everybody could come out winning. And instead you're going, I'm going to blacklist this little kid who, you know, I'm way older than. So he never ever gets to work again because how dare he? But in that, okay. So from our perspective, and again, you know, the videos I've made regarding the strikes, I think that they've overreached that they basically are expecting influencers like ourselves to toe the line. You know, even though we don't have a dog in the fight. Right. And I get, I get they're upset. I get they're They're afraid people are going to go YouTube. I get all that, but it, it, it's not. It, and I mean this in the nicest possible way. It's not our problem. It's not our fight. And I'm sorry. I hope you get, I really truly hope you get what you're looking for. I wouldn't hold your breath, but I hope you do. That being said, you don't have a right to police the entire internet and tell them they can and can't say. Right. Stuff but it's their, her voice. Right. But this is her voice. So you know, this is not helping me get throw support in that direction either, because this is such a massive. I know, but the flip side is, if someone were using your voice to do a show and say they were you, if it, yeah, but the th okay, so the difference is, uh, the difference is, this is clearly a parody. You know, it's clearly a, somebody could impersonate me. They could go out there and impersonate me and be like, I like dog penis. I like to suck it all day. You know, they could. No, you just put yourself. I in just clear. put myself in the. Damn it. So that's going to be a clip now. It's going to be short. You know, Neon said, you're like, dog penis. No, but I'm just saying, like, they could do that, right? It's a parody. I, I can't stop them from doing it. Um, I might not be happy about it, but, uh, you know, to th again, for an obvious parody, this is like somebody working on, like, Robot Chicken or something and being like, we're going to, you know, you made fun of my show, so you'll never work in this town again. Never work in this town again. You'll never be a part of Santa's gang. Never, never. Um, <laughs> it did better than they did on Mad TV. But uh, yeah, I, I think it's like a massive overreaction. It's not making her look good. I mean, uh, we've got, I know a lot of people who follow us 
are huge Scooby-Doo fans. And you're like, damn, Gray, just what the hell? Like like this guy here, uh, Traffin. Gray, as someone who has been a fan of your work and your roles for a very long time, this isn't it. I get the anger, if anything, AI. I if do it, too. But the creator was not trying to do any sort of harm. He apologizes in this very comment section for ever doing it. Please reconsider. I just think he's young and he wasn't thinking about that. Yeah, people are really taking her. So this is actually blowing up in her face because, I mean, she could pull him aside privately and said, hey, yeah, that is my voice. And I'm not real happy given the circumstances that you're doing that. You know, could you, could you? And like I said, you could have used it as a moment. This is why we're worried. Use it as this in is the exactly media. why we're worried. We'll, 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 we'll record it for you, you know, and use us actually doing it. And then we can talk about how this is, this is a problem. This could be a bit, this could be detrimental. And they, they don't do that. No. And instead they made an example of him, you know, and trust me, one. my support for the unions leaving my body after reading one tweet. That is it. Imagine someone who's worth $5 million blackballing a random web animator for using an AI voice in a silly internet video with zero monetization attached to it. It's not a good look. Um, no, it's it's not a good look. Uh, you know, here he's trying to apologize and uh, it's not it's not getting a response, I don't think. In fact, she hasn't said a thing either at all or especially in response to his apology tweet thread or the fact that she kept the original tweet up is gross. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's going to make sure this guy never works in the animation industry. Because of this one infraction. And I'm sorry. He's 23 years old. And he's very good. He's very good. Like he did that himself at 23. I mean, I'm sure it probably took him a year or two to do it. But holy hell. You know? Um, yeah. This is a, this is a damn shame. Because again, this is, this is somebody who could get into the industry. And if he's doing work like that at that age, it really you know, shake it up. There's also a disconnect too. Uh, I, think, I think there's a disconnect. And I see this all the time and um, generation, generational disconnect. I think she comes, she's older than we are. You know, I think she comes yeah, from a different time. Yeah. She'd be, what, she'd be Gen Xer, wouldn't she? Yeah, she's Gen Xer. Yeah, like Pretty way sure earlier than us. But she um, comes from a different time than kids today. And kids today grew up with the stuff. They grew up with AI. They grew up with, you know, all these different things and, and social media and stuff. And to them... It's not as it's not as detrimental if you you know he knew not to monetize it he wasn't yeah. he made clear he put a disclaimer on it and to them it's just like you know everybody uses stuff for fair game on like TikTok and everything else they use music all the time with credit and stuff like that and I don't think that he thought it was going to be a problem as long as it was credited and everything else and you know I think it's a generational disconnect I think it's partly I don't think I, I do not believe that he thought it was going to be a malicious thing. He thought it was going to be like a, you know, an homage that was going to be something they would appreciate. You know, I don't think, I don't think he thought it through in that way. I, my reaction to that, if it were me now, again, I will make my living as, you know, a, a animated voice actor, but I would have been like, well, depending on what the context was. I mean, if they had me saying, Hey, I like dog dick. That's a whole nother thing, but, <laughs> but please stop saying that. I'm sure somebody's going to do it. Not care. true. Not true. Somebody's going to do it in response to this video. They're going to be, here's a link. Uh, Neon likes dog dick. Uh, no, but like, <laughs> Please stop. if it was something that was actually funny and clever and clearly done out of love for the franchise. And, and they weren't monetizing it or making money And they money weren't monetizing it. it. I'd be like, that's, that's pretty good. Actually, that's that's pretty good. I would be like, okay, I don't like the fact you're using AI. So, I, AI, so I'd be like reaching out and being like, hey, let me record the voice. Let's do it again. You, I'll do it, and then we'll just use it as an example of why, you know, we'll tell the story and be like, this AI is bad. This is why. That actually would work. I mean, look, yeah. Again, perfect teachable moment. Perfect missed opportunity. Great Delisle could have led the charge. Save face for both people. Save face and been like, you know what? Rather than have this guy use AI, and I'm going to show the difference between what a human actor can do and what AI can do. Because the voices sound flat because they're AI they generated. They do sound flat. And then, the, yeah, that's a good example. And then be like, and plus this animation's so good. Let me, let me, let me hook you up here. You know what I mean? You went to all this trouble. Come, that's come, what I would do. Come but, into the system. You obviously have talent, but God, you got to, you got to ditch the AI thing. But you yeah, know what? That. You, you might not realize why it's bad. Let me explain right. to you why it is. But you've got talent. You're diamond in the rough. If it were me. Okay, because I can recognize this guy is phenomenally talented. I do not have the resources to put him to work on anything, but damn, I'd be like, you're good. Get Put this guy to oh work. Oh my gosh, if, if Neon could do a rank and best special, uh, you know, for stuff that we do, he'd be all over it. Trust me. <laughs> Crimson would. Run, rank and bass style, oh, he, shit. he'd be there. Complete with musical numbers. He, no. <laughs> so
Yeah. That would that would be your thing. Anyway, we're gonna. I think we're gonna wrap this up. I'm just uh, colossally disappointed all the way around. That being said, his animation's phenomenal. It, it really was. And I really wish she could. She handled it differently. I mean, I, I, wish I, she I understand. Too. I want to be clear. I understand why she's upset. Yeah. I, I understand that this it just just it shines a light on how easily they could be replaced. Yeah. Um. But then again, you can't replace somebody, and you you know without their permission you can't like you know studios and stuff aren't able to use her voice unless she agrees to that you know yeah. they can make something sound similar though but there's other actors out there that will do similar voices without you too that being said i think that the reaction to it I, while i understand why and i think it's bad timing i think it was too far yeah no i agree i agree 100 percent. so let's wrap this one up uh please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants guys and we'll talk later bye